Hey guys, welcome back to another almost inevitable design web tutorial, Divi WordPress tutorial. That's a lot of words strung together. So um, here you can see that the Divi uh, social buttons, social media buttons like that, we don't have Google Plus anymore. Google tried to use Google Plus. They actually, even with Google putting Google Plus posts on top of their search results it still didn't work so that's gone if you want to put Instagram um, check out this link this has how um, this explains how to put Instagram in your um, social media buttons instead of Google Plus so that'll help I'll put that I'll put this link in the blog post and the video description anyways um, if you notice if you've clicked on these things, you can notice that they don't open in a new window, which I think is ridiculous. So let's learn how to do that. All right. Now to start off, you need a child theme. You always need a child theme. Whatever, most everything that you do in WordPress, you probably need a child theme. Okay. And of course, if you think you don't need a child theme, it's good to have a child theme. Just use a child theme, okay? Um, anyways, so download your child theme here. It'll work fine, okay? So have that. Now, um, I'm running, uh, I'm, I'm, I've, I've activated a child theme, as you can see here, okay? And what you need to do is, um, I will show you, right here so this is because um, I'm using uh, as you can see localhost I'm using a uh, local server so that means that um, this is on my hard drive so theme that's my child theme that I have here now um, there's a lot of weird files here because I've been doing things um, Inside Divi now originally the header all right, so this is the header All right now inside this header what you have is a bunch of stuff And then you have the social icons now on page uh, not page line 72 to 76 You'll see get template part includes social icons what this means is that originally if you were using just the theme it's the parent theme itself You'd be going inside the includes folder, and inside the includes folder, you'll see this file, social icons. Now, that is a template. Now, luckily for us, WordPress child themes can override template files. Okay? So, that means that if you take this, now, this is originally inside um, the includes, as you can see here, the includes folder which means here we add a new folder includes like that and inside there we will I'll copy that paste this here social icons right now if you open this you'll see this is what the social icons will look like so this is uh, when you add Facebook when you add um, Twitter when you add the dead Google Plus when you add RSSS RSSS <laughs> RSS yeah, so that all happens here inside the theme options. You will see use Google Font. Oh, no, sorry. Show Facebook, show Twitter, show Google Plus, show RSS. And that's what these things do. The if statements is if this option is on, right? Um, but that's not important. Right now, what we need to do, all we need to do is find the um, hyperlink reference. And we see the class. We'll add this target underscore blank now what this does is it opens in a new window or tab or whatever was that the last one I don't think RSS's need windows I don't know it's up to you I'll just doesn't matter so I'll save it right so that's saved that means that target blank is saved inside the child theme as you can see inside the child theme this is the child theme and you add 
the same structure of a uh, folder and it works because it's a theme, uh, template file. Now if we reload this and click on that we get a new page, we get a new uh, window. All these things, I, I added uh, Facebook to everything so there you go. Okay so that's how you add, um, that's how you make the social links open in a new browser window. There you go. I think that's it. All right, so um, uh, there you go. Just check out my website and um, enjoy using Divi and enjoy sending people to your social media pages in a new tab. Okay, bye-bye.